It's hard to believe, but it's been almost six years since the Google Pixel 3 was released, and it stopped receiving major Android updates after Android 12. Yes, that's disappointing, especially when you consider that the Pixel 3 is packed with solid hardware like the Snapdragon 8, 4, 5, and 4 gigabytes of RAM, more than enough to handle any major Android updates. But Google decided to cut it off. Fortunately, there's a strong community of custom ROM developers out there, and thanks to them, we have a way to get Android 14 on these older devices. In this video, I'll show you how to bypass Google's limitations and install Lineage OS 21 with Android 14 on your Pixel 3, Pixel 3 XL, or even Pixel 3a. The software experience is as clean and smooth as you'd expect, and everything runs beautifully. Gaming on this ROM is solid too. PUBG runs smoothly. And while the 60Hz display might not make a huge difference in everyday use, the overall performance is definitely a step up from the stock ROM. I also ran some Geekbench tests, and the scores clearly show an improvement. Make sure to stick around until the end, so you don't miss any crucial steps in this guide. Before we dive into the installation process, make sure to back up your data, because this process will wipe your device. These instructions only work if you follow them exactly, so take your time with each step. Also, ensure your device is running the latest official stock firmware. I've already published a video on how to revert back to the official ROM, so if you ever want to go back to stock, I've got you covered. Let's start with the prerequisites. First thing, you'll need the latest version of Google's platform tools for ADB and Fastboot installed on your PC. Secondly, make sure Google ADB drivers are installed on your computer. Additionally, ensure you have the latest factory images installed. You'll also need the latest Lineage OS 21 image for your Pixel 3 device and the appropriate G Apps package if you want Google services. I've put all the download links in the description, so check that out before you proceed. Let's first enable OEM unlocking in Developer Options. For that, go to Settings then About Phone, and tap Build Number seven times, until you see the You Are Now a Developer message. Then go back to Settings, find System, then Developer Options, and enable OEM Unlocking and USB Debugging. Connect your Pixel to your computer using a USB-C cable. You might see a prompt asking to allow USB Debugging. Make sure to allow it. Now, head over to the Lineage OS website and download the latest Lineage OS build for your Pixel model, along with the boot and DTBO file. If you want Google Apps, download the appropriate gapps package from the Mind the gapps website. Save all these files to your computer. Now, pay attention. I'm guessing most of you already have the ADB tools and Android OEM drivers set up on your devices, but I know some of you might need a hand with that. So, if you're all set up, feel free to skip ahead to the next part of the video. But if you need help with installing ADB tools and OEM Android drivers, stick around and follow these steps. Install ADB and Fastboot. These are part of the Android SDK platform tools. Head over to the official Android developer website. I've put the link in the description below. Once you're on the page, download the platform tools package for your operating system. Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Step 2. Once the download is complete, locate the zip file in your downloads folder and extract it to a convenient location on your computer, like your Drive C or a dedicated folder. Step 3. Setting up ADB and Fastboot. Now that we have the platform tools extracted, let's make sure your computer can use them. For Windows users, this involves adding the Platform Tools folder to your system's path environment variable. For macOS and Linux users, it's a bit simpler. For Windows, open the Start menu, search for Environment Variables, and select Edit the System Environment Variables. In the System Properties window, click on Environment Variables. In the Environment Variables window, find the Path variable under System Variables and click Edit. Click New and paste the path to your Platform Tools folder. It should look something like this. Click OK on all windows to close them. Now for macOS and Linux, pause this video here and just follow these steps. 
Step 4. Install the OEM USB drivers. This step is crucial for your computer to properly recognize your Pixel device. If you're on Windows, download the Google USB driver from the Android developer website. Extract the downloaded file, then open Device Manager on your computer. Find your Pixel device under Other Devices or Portable Devices. Right-click on it, choose Update Driver, and browse to the folder where you extracted the USB driver. If you're on macOS or Linux, you generally don't need to install additional drivers. Great, let's continue. Move all these downloaded files into the Platform Tools folder of ADB, and to make things easier, rename them to something simple. This will save you from typing long names later on. Next, right-click inside the Platform Tools folder and select Open in Terminal. Type ADB Devices and press Enter. If you see a connected device listed, you're all set for the next steps. Then type ADB D-Reboot Bootloader and press Enter to boot your device into Fast Boot Mode. Once in Fast Boot Mode, confirm your phone is connected by typing Fast Boot Devices in the command window. Next, type the following command to unlock the bootloader. Fast Boot Flashing Unlock. Follow the instructions on your phone using the volume and power keys to unlock the bootloader. Your device will reboot into fast boot mode again. And once the status changes to unlocked, you're one step closer to flashing Android 14. Now let's flash the recovery file. Type fast boot flash boot boot.img in the terminal. Type ADB Fastboot Flash DTBO, DTBO.IMG and press Enter. Great! You've successfully flashed the Lineage OS recovery. Now it's time to flash the Lineage OS onto your device. Using the power and volume keys on your phone, boot into recovery mode. Once in recovery, select Factory Reset. Then, Format Data Factory Reset, and continue with the formatting process. This will remove encryption and delete all files stored in internal storage. Return to the main menu, select Apply Update, then Apply from ADB to begin sideloading. Type this command to start flashing the Lineage OS ROM. ADB sideload lineage-os.zip the ROM will start flashing, and the process should be done in a few minutes. While you're waiting, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you find it helpful. I'll be posting more custom ROMs for Google Pixel devices, so stay tuned. Once the flashing process is complete, you'll need to decide whether you want Google services. If you do, reboot the device into recovery again. Otherwise, choose Reboot to System. For this tutorial, I'm rebooting into recovery to show you how to install G apps. Select Update from ADB again, and in the terminal, type this command, adb sideload google.zip. The flashing process will start again, and within a few minutes, you'll be back at the recovery screen. Finally, tap on Reboot to System. Your device will now boot into Lineage OS Android 14 ROM. The first boot might take a little longer than usual, so don't worry if it seems to take its time. And there you have it. Your Pixel is now running Android 14. Enjoy the new features and customization options. If you run into any issues or have questions, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to share your experience and report any issues so others can stay informed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.